Life is about movement and vitality. Don't let vein disease slow you down. Our cutting edge procedures are minimally invasive with little to no downtime. Rediscover healthy, beautiful legs that keep up with your life. Regain your confidence and freedom to enjoy every moment. Choose Vein Clinics of Hawaii. Your journey to healthier veins start here. Aloha, it's Kiana Kayabiab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long Drugs for all your shopping needs. At least one person has died after a U.S. Air Force Osprey crashed off the coast of Japan. U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command said the aircraft carrying eight crew members was performing a routine training mission when it went down in waters near Yakushima, an island south of Kagoshima on Kyushu. The Osprey belonged to the 353rd Special Operations Wing assigned to Yokota Air Base. Search and rescue operations are underway, but so far only one person was found by the Japanese Coast Guard. The man pulled from the water was pronounced dead at a nearby port. Search teams also found debris believed to be from the aircraft and an empty inflatable life raft in an area less than a mile off the eastern coast of Yakushima. More today on Monday's assault of a Honolulu police officer. A 23-year-old woman has been charged with allegedly assaulting a 43-year-old officer who was responding to a call for service at a home in Pearl City late Monday night. Tyla Mori was charged Tuesday with one count of assault against a law enforcement officer in the first degree. She is being held in lieu of $11,000 bail. According to state records, Mori allegedly intentionally or knowingly caused bodily injury to the female officer who was engaged in the performance of duty. A 13-year-old girl who was arrested with Mori Monday night was not charged. Details about the incident have not been released. Finland has sealed off its border with Russia amid rising political tensions. The NATO member closed its last remaining crossing along the 830-mile border today. The decision was made a day earlier over concerns that Moscow was using migrants to destabilize the Nordic country in what Finland calls hybrid warfare. Finnish authorities said about 1,000 migrants without visas or valid documentation have arrived at the border since August, including more than 900 in November alone. The migrants come from countries like Afghanistan, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Iraq, Pakistan, Somalia, Syria, and Yemen. Finland says Russia is deliberately pushing the migrants to the border zone. Allegations the Kremlin denies. The border closure is due to last for at least two weeks, after which one crossing point may be reopened. A 68-year-old woman from Colorado has died after a snorkeling excursion in Kailua, Kona. Hawaii Island Police identified Martha Kurika of Colorado Springs, Colorado, as a possible drowning victim. Kurika was on a guided snorkeling tour in Makako Bay on Monday when she showed signs of distress. An employee responded and found Kurika unresponsive in the water. She was brought onto the tour boat where CPR was initiated, then taken to the boat harbor where medics from the fire department continued medical treatment. First responders took Kurika to Kona Community Hospital, but life-saving measures were unsuccessful. She was pronounced dead at 8.12 Monday night. After a whirlwind two days, the Hawaii women's volleyball team is in Eugene, Oregon for the NCAA tournament. On Sunday, the morning after securing a fourth straight conference title and 30th consecutive NCAA tournament appearance, the team left Long Beach, California to fly back to Hawaii. They watched the NCAA selection show before traveling to Oregon the next day. The Wahine stepped into Matthew Knight Arena on the University of Oregon campus on Tuesday, where they had two hours to prepare for Thursday's first round match against Iowa State. The team has one more practice today to get ready for a tough challenge in the seventh seeded Cyclones. UH has never played Iowa State, which finished fourth in the Big 12 after reaching the 20 win mark for the first time since 2017. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.
Call us at 808-585-2955 or visit our website at veinclinicsofhawaii.com to schedule your consultation.